others are making for nobody. That's if you want to really get into your art, realize there's no audience for it, and then just beat the hell out of it. Me, you come back for me. I promise. I'll come back for you. The line from Finney's Wake. Uh, we're going to talk about Finney's Wake tonight. Uh, first of all, Evan, uh, good to talk to you again. Yes, and, Bob. Um, you brought up McLuhan and the extension of our sensibilities. Uh, when the telegraph came in and then radio and early analog electric media 100 years ago, it upset, upset the old modalities of creativity. And so the first revolution, or an avant-garde upsetting of the sensibilities and the cliches, was in the 1920s in the world of painting. We remember uh, uh, surrealism, cubism, dadism, and all these things are what we kind of remember of the 1920s. That was the art form that stood out. It was the revolution of the eye. Yes. All right? Yes. So then, can you think of when's the next revolution of sensibility or, or an interesting new kind of situation in the art world or the creativity world, whichever world you want to pick? I guess well, something that comes to mind immediately? Yeah, I would think about the Lumiere brothers in France and their, sur- their uh, animation. Um, All right. The first moving yes. train animation, uh, moving pictures. Well, that was in the 1900s, you know, 1900. That's what the art of the 20s was responding to. So what I'm saying is the next revolution, since that was the eye, oh, okay. and, the, and the electric environment is essentially a tactile extension, extension of tactility, then the eye responded first with its revolution in the 20s. What would be the next sense, sense to respond? That would be the ear. Okay, the ear. So, yeah, and so what comes to mind, and you can look back to the 20th century, is the revolution in the ear by music in the 60s. Then when you get into the television and satellite era of the 60s, the revolution is in the ear. And that is uh, rock music, pop music, 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 music everywhere. That is the organ that responds and has a revolution of sensibility. Now I'm leading into what's next. You have the 20s is the uh, is the eye. You have the third. You have the 60s is the ear. Since electric environments are an extension of tactility, the next revolution would be tactility itself. And I think that's how you can look at the the changes from the late 60s up to the say YouTube is the extension of tactility. You can look at the the writing style of Mark McLuhan, the musical style of Frank Zappa, the art of Andy Warhol, and you'll see that they're not eye people, they're not ear people, they're interactive people interacting with memes and ideas that are in the global theater. And so I call them tactile artists. And they were the leading edge of the revolution of tactility. So then the fourth, and that would be the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, the fourth phase is the android meme replaying all three of those revolutions and becoming tactility or interactivity itself. And so the art form, the revolution of sensibility, starting in the mid-90s, is uh, the Windows products, all the computer gadgets that people buy. And then as they shrink, you get the iPods and all the stuff we've got lately. But you look over the last uh, 15 to 20 years, it is interacting with horny devices, <laughs> devices that turn people on. And it's the ability to interact and, and make with it. So the Android meme is the fourth revolution of sensibility. So you have revolution of the eye in yeah. the 20s. Revolution avant-garde sensibilities in music in the 60s. Then you have a revolution of tactility uh, as an art form. And it's symbolized in the White House, by the way, Reagan is just waving. And then people are filling in an image of him. They're participating in this blank image. They paint the image. And then Bill Clinton feels your pain. You look at the, across the arts of expression on the human scale, the chemical body scale, you see that it's the, the audience gets more and more involved. And so the main figures in the 70s and 80s are talk show hosts, like Phil Donahue or Oprah, mm-hmm. where the audience is the employer, the audience is the leader of uh, expression. It's a, it's a huge participatory situation. So I, I'm calling that the interactivity of tactility. But then when the devices come in, the fourth revolution, they simulate interactivity and you take control of it more this and more you become the editor of your interactivity or your tactility so this the android meme is mainly an extension of tactility a squaring of it but it's being done by the machines and we can't even call them machines anymore they're so friendly so uh, right. involved now there's all kinds of disservices in these first phase 
but the laser an artist, a musician, a creator. I want to run this by him, this pattern, and see what ideas he gets by it. And you go look at the eye, and then the ear revolution, then the tactility revolution, and then the machine tactility expression, where everybody's making their own materials right today on YouTube and that.